While we are at the subject of them thinking that polygamy gives them life, I kind of open that again, Mandan. Uh, they say that we are unashamed, uh, unashamedly polygamous. Polygamy is our source of life, he said, and as, as guests shared. Whoa, that's a lot. It's not the it's not the work of the cross that is the source of our life. It is not God that uh, that is the source of our life. It is polygamy. So IPC is celebrating uh, 60 years uh, anniversary of its existence since 1962. And so to yesterday there was an article that was posted on the Daily Sun, and this is the article right here. And uh, as they celebrate this big milestone. Uh, there was a part here that caught my attention in the article. They talk about the leader, how it started, you know, in the early days that he had uh, received his healing through prayer and guidance from God. They kind of narrate that whole thing. And they say that uh, Makwana said that uh, said the church followed uh, Isaiah 4, 1 scripture in the Bible, which speaks about polygamy. Okay, so they followed this verse. Now I'm going to read the verse so we can see. Uh, does this make for a church in 2022 something that is biblical? But let's let's see what they're trying to get to here. He says, we are unashamedly a uh, polygamist. Uh, polygamy is our source of life. In case you thought Mandem was making it up. Okay, in case you thought Mandem was making it up. I saw somebody asking, what is Mandem? <laughs> Mandem is, uh, it's like this guy. It's like saying this guy. It's um, it's UK slang for, for this guy. Like, oh, Joe, <laughs> you know? <laughs> now, let's read the verse that's in question here. Let's read the verse that's being spoken about, which is Isaiah chapter number four, verse one. What does it say? It says, in that day, Seven women, okay, so let's go to the previous chapter here. Thy men shall fall by the sword, and, their, uh, and thy mighty in the war, and her gates shall lament and mourn, and, uh, oops, Lord Shading, and back, okay. And so it says, and her gates shall lament, and she, being desolate, shall sit upon the ground. And so... It's talking about this distressful period, right? And then it goes into, and that day, in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man saying, we shall eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. <laughs> Only let us be called uh, by your name and take uh, away our reproach. They take this verse as they are li like this they say that this is this gives them life so they see the the whole seven women thing over there and they think this is permissible this is what god wants or this is what god is permitting and therefore yeah but that does not mean that is what god has said to do okay if you read in the new testament it is very clear that uh, marriage is between a man and a woman single man single woman that's just that it's not more than that it's it's just that and that's all but why is it that now seven women he's speaking about a, per a particular period of time when this happens and it will happen okay now that might be already happening in africa and so forth but then this verse here is not saying that's what god is saying do can you focus on what God says do? <laughs> if they were focusing on what God says do, they wouldn't be coming to the conclusion that this is somehow what they should be doing. But the reason why they come to those such, such conclusions is because they are not considering that this verse is not telling you that this is what God wants you to do. The verse is just telling you of a particular period when people would start to do that exactly while we are at the subject of them thinking that polygamy gives them life i kind of open that again mandan uh they say that we are unashamed uh, unashamedly polygamous polygamy is our source of life he said and as as guests shared whoa that's a lot it's not the it's not the work of the cross that is the source of our life it is not god that uh, 
that is the source of our life. It is polygamy. This tells you that they are worshipping something else. Don't mind them, they are worshipping another different God. But you won't come to such conclusions unless you kind of like hear what they are saying. Instead of focusing on what God actually says do, they want something else to do. The verse that you just read, which they say their entire church is based on um, Isaiah 4.1, is not saying do that. The verse is saying that there is going to be a time when people are doing that. Okay? The Bible says in the last days, people shall, there shall be a massive falling away. Does the Bible say you fall away? No, it says there is going to be a time when people fall away. It's not telling you to do that. What it tells you to do is to come to God, be repentant, and come to the work of salvation that was rendered on your behalf. Instead of just wearing red, claiming that it represents the blood <laughs> okay actually do what god says do not what you see okay the bible says you know jonah was was supposed to go to nineveh does that mean you go to nineveh <laughs> okay what what application of verses is this it's a weird man damn kind of thing it's a weird application of verses and interpretation but I'm going to show you that that's not only the case on this particular situation. So we're going to turn this into a Chronicles episode. Now, my load shading is going to take like four hours. <laughs> my light might come back a little bit late. Uh, if I do decide to shoot further, maybe I'll use our phone audio because that one tends to clear the, uh, the, the noise of the generators outside. Uh, but if I use the, the audio that I was using on the camera when I started recording, it wouldn't work. But maybe I'll use the, the recording of the audio. But from the folk but the most important thing to take here is that how do they come to this conclusion the bible tells you to come to the messiah they're not doing that they are coming to a church they go to a church they defend a church they are not coming to the messiah they're not coming to god they are going to a church fine now going to a church is not 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 a problem that's where we gather right but they're going to a church because they believe that that's where their comforter is according to their church doctrine but at the same time the verse does not say you be a polygamist that's not what the verse says the verse says in there is a time when people will do that okay there is a time the bible does tell you about a particular period when people were doing more like sacrifices does it tell you to do more like sacrifices can you please bother to read the whole thing <laughs> or understand the whole context of the verse? But I'm going to show you that they do have other things that you listen to and you're like, okay, I can see why will man them come to such conclusions. It's because you don't exactly have proper reference for the Bible. But we're going to talk about that in this Chronicle series and I will see you on the later on episode. Subscribe to the channel if it's the first video that you're just seeing. Check the pinned comments if the other episodes are done already. But by mid afternoon the day they will be done okay right now i just have four hours worth of load shedding it's just too much <laughs> but i'll see you later y'all be blessed